Last night on the late, great Kobe Bean Bryant two-year anniversary of his passing, Devin Booker dropped 43 points, 12 rebounds, 4 assists in a W versus the Utah Jazz. Why do I bring this up? Well, I was on a record for many occasions saying that Devin Booker is not it's the closest thing to Kobe Bryant we have had in this generation of the NBA. Devin Booker was drafted back in 2015 NBA draft. What we're going to be talking about today is what happened to every NBA player drafted above Devin Booker. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Will, and we're back again with another video. And Devin Booker, he's a two-time uh, all-star and one of the most prolific scores in the game. He was in the finals last year. Unfortunately, lost to the Milwaukee Bucks. But Devin Booker is an unstoppable scorer. Which he was drafted back in 2015 NBA draft. Arguably one of the worst NBA drafts we have had in NBA history. It was not the best. So what we're gonna be talking about, we're gonna be we're gonna explain what happened and why all these players were drafted above Devin Booker. Which, I don't think there's an argument Devin Booker was the best player to ever get drafted in this NBA draft. So, we're going to start with the first part of our pick, Carl Anthony Towns. A, a two-time All-Star, prolific, most talented, very talented offensive center who lacks defensive consistency. Number two overall pick, DeAndre Russell, his teammate with Carl Anthony Towns. Another good scorer. He can shoot the ball, get to the basket, very clutch. But he just lacks that inconsistency of taking his game to the next level and becoming more of a playmaker for the team. Number three of our pick, Jaleel Ogafor. Sorry to say it, he was a bust. He tried, but didn't succeed. Number four of our pick, Christos Porzingis. Very solid. He was better than a lot of people thought he was going to be. Unfortunately, he does not fit with Luka. He does. He wants to be Batman, but he is not Batman. He needs to learn how to be more consistent down in the paint and dominate down low. Stop shooting threes all the time and stay healthy. But he is solid. Number fifth on repair, Mario Hizonja. Absolute dog water, dumpster juice, bust. Number six overall pick, Willie Cauley Stein. He's Willie Cauley Stein, average. Number seven overall pick, Emmanuel Moutier. He's still in the NBA. Number eight overall pick, Stanley Johnson. Shout out to Stanley Johnson. He got a two-year uh, contract with the LA Lakers. He is very. He has improved his game. Number nine overall pick, Frank Kaminsky. Um, yeah. Number ten overall pick, Justice Winslow. Solid, but that's about it. He's all right. Um, number 11 on pick, Miles Turner, solid bit man. He can stretch the floor, play, he's an amazing defender, but he needs to work on his offensive game. Number 12 on pick, Trey Lyles, he's a basketball player, playing with the Detroit Pistons. And then we got the number 13 overall pick, the best player in the draft. Let, let, let's stop it. There's no debate here. Devin Booker. Elevated to his game next level. He is currently this season averaging 25 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. Taking the game to the next level, even from the previous season where he went to the finals with Chris Paul and the crew for the Phoenix Suns. Shot the whole world. Devin Booker has the same mid range game as Kobe. It looks like he has the mentality of Kobe Bryant. He has improved his passing game. He's improved to being a playmaker of the team. He's should be an all-star this year. Should be a three-time all-star. And the numbers he's been putting up lately. What, 48 versus San Antonio? 33 versus Utah? And then 43 last night versus Utah? He's been balling out of his mind. I just I just wonder why 
12 of these players on this list was drafted above Devin Booker. Now, Carl Anthony Towns and Devin Booker, they played they played together on, on Kentucky, right? Carl Anthony Towns was obviously the best player on that team at the time when he was on Kentucky. He was dominant. Devin Booker was learning how to play on that team. He, he was a he was a shooter. That was it. Devin Booker elevated his game to the next level more than every player on this draft list. Every player. Even Carl Anthony Towns. Carl Anthony Towns is solid. He's really good. But his defense is not it. And I think he needs to prove of being a leader on for the team. So Minnesota can take that next level. D'Angelo Russell is solid. But I think he needs to prove on being more of a playmaker of the team. Everybody else in this list, even Brzingis, this is not it. I don't understand why there was 12 players drafted above Devin Booker. But once again, Devin Booker just proves why he's the closest thing to Kobe we have had in this generation. And he continues to get better. That's all I got today uh, on today's video. I, it was, this is a short video. I just want to talk about Devin Booker and all these players that was drafted above him. And I want to shout out to this YouTuber that gave that had this idea first. Um, his name is Dimes. You should go check out his channel. He has a great content, and he had a video similar like this. And if y'all want more NBA content just like this, more entertaining basketball content weekly, subscribe to my channel and also subscribe to my podcast, Will Chill. And thank y'all for tuning in to this video. It's been your boy, Will, and I'm out.